Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to jump straight into this tutorial for you and I'm going to be doing it this really beautiful Gigi Hadid inspired makeup look. I was looking at some of her makeup pictures recently and I was just so inspired to recreate this cranberry eye. It just looks absolutely beautiful. So first of all, I'm going to be starting off by prepping the skin. So I'm going to be taking a little bit of my Too Faced Hangover RX primer and I'm just going to be smoothing it out onto the skin. And then moving on to foundation, I'm going to be taking this one by Makeup Forever. This is the Ultra HD Stick. And I spoke about this in my last video, all about my best foundations. If you want to see that video and you haven't already, I will leave the link right here if you want to go and check it out. But I'm just going to be smoothing that all over the skin and pat it in with a beauty blender. So I really wanted a nice luminosity to the skin and this foundation is perfect for it. And it also works really well on camera. So now moving on to concealer, I'm going to be taking a little bit of the Maybelline Fit Me and putting that underneath my eyes. Also I'm going to be using a little bit of MAC Prep and Prime in the colour Light Boost just to highlight the centre part of my face. And again I'm just going to be buffing that in with a damp beauty blender. So now just to bake underneath the eyes, I'm going to be taking my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and I'm going to be heavily patting that onto the eyes. And then while that's baking away, I'm going to be taking this Soleil Tan de Chanel and I'm just going to be putting that on the areas where I wanted to add a little bit more definition. Gigi didn't have a massively contoured face, but she just looked really nice and glowy and a lot of bronze to her skin as well. So I just wanted to add a little bit more warmth in without adding too much definition. So I'm just going to be passing that in with the Beauty Blender as well and making sure that's really nice and blended. So now I'm going to be taking a little bit of this Too Faced Primed and Poreless Powder and I'm just going to be setting the foundation and also removing the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and now we're going to be moving on to the eyebrows. So Gigi's eyebrows were really nice and bushy. Unfortunately she is blessed with beautiful eyebrows and unfortunately I am not so I need a little bit of help. So I'm going to be going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz and I'm just going to be outlining the brows and also filling them in. And then to add a little bit of definition to the outer part of the brow, I'm going to be going in with this Barry M powder and I'm just going to be taking the darkest shade and just setting the outer part of the brows just so we've got kind of like a nice ombre effect on the brows. So now moving on to the eyes, and um, for a transitional shade I'm going to be using Makeup Geek's Creme Brulee and with this Oeva Luxe Crease Brush I'm just going to really buff that out into the crease. So now I'm just going to be going into the Urban Decay Vice 3 palette and I'm going to be picking up the colour Alien which is a really nice little purple toned shimmery shade and I'm just going to be putting that into the crease as well. So as you can see I've just switched up the brushes, I'm using more of a tapered ended brush because I wanted more precision into the crease and I didn't want to cover up any of that transitional colour. So once you've got the colour packed onto the crease, just go back into the other brush with no additional eyeshadow and just blended out the edges. And with this makeup look as well, Gigi had quite a lot of colour on the inner part of the eye. So as you can see, I'm kind of dragging it into the inner part of the eye and making it really nice and blown out. So now moving on to the lid colour, the first colour I'm going to be using is by MAC in the colour Cranberry and it's just a really beautiful purple tone shimmery shade so it's going to work really well as the first colour on the lid. So I'm just going to be packing that onto the lid and then I'm going to be moving on to this shade by Makeup Geek and this is one of their foiled eyeshadows in the colour Showtime and I'm just going to be spraying my brush with a little bit of Fix Plus and I'm just going to be packing that on and that way you get the most colour payoff from this foiled eyeshadow and it's really pigmented anyway but it's just going to make it super pigmented and really nice nice and vibrant because Gigi had a lot of glitter on her eyelids. So I'm just going to be packing that onto the eyes and then blending that through into the crease just to make sure there's no harsh edges. So now taking a little bit of the colour Corrupt by Makeup Geek and I'm just going to be spritzing a little bit of Fix Plus on my flat definer brush. I'm just going to be putting that on the outer part of the eyes because Gigi didn't look like she had any winged eyeliner, it just looked like she had a little bit of definition on the outer part of the eye. 
So now I'm going to be tight lining the upper and lower waterline with a little bit of the NARS eyeliner in the colour Via Veneto. So now moving on to the lower lash line, I'm going to be going in with the colour Cranberry again by MAC and I'm going to be buffing that out onto the lower lash line. And then to make sure it's not too purple, I'm going to be going in with this colour by Makeup Geek in the colour Americano. And it's just a really beautiful purple tone brown, so it's going to work really well with this eye colour combination. So I'm just going to be blending a little bit of that over the top and then going back into a blending brush and just making sure all the edges are blended. And we've got a really nice smoky blown out look to the eye. And then just to add a little bit of definition onto the lower waterline, I'm just going to be taking a flat to finer brush again and really pushing that up just to make sure we've got a lot of definition there so now moving on to lashes i'm just going to be adding a coat of mascara to the bottom and the top lashes and i'm going to be moving on to falsies and the ones that i'm going to be using today are the rdl demi wispies because Gigi didn't look like she had loads of false eyelashes on eyelashes just look really wispy and separated so that's why i'm going to be using these today because i think they're going to be ideal for this look so now I'm going to be highlighting the brow bone and also the inner corner of the eye just to really open up and brighten up the look. So I'm going to be taking this colour by Makeup Geek in the colour Ice Queen. So now moving back onto the face, I'm going to be taking this bronzer by Makeup Forever. This is their Pro Fusion bronzer. And again, as I said before, I didn't want to add a lot of contour to the face. I just wanted to add a lot more warmth to it and a slight definition. So I'm just going to be going over the areas where I put the Chanel Tan de Soleil on. And I'm just going to be bronzing up the skin. So now moving on to blusher, I'm going to be taking the colour Baby by the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani blush palette and I'm just going to put that onto the apples of the cheeks and also the cheekbones. And then for a little bit of highlighter, I'm going to be going in with this Laura Geller highlighter in the colour Portofino and I'm just going to be putting out the high points of the cheekbones and also the centre of the nose, a little bit on my chin and a little bit on my forehead as well because Gigi had a lot of glow to her skin and I really wanted to sort of fake the glow <laughs> with the highlighter. And then just to add a lot more luminosity to the skin and also take away any of that powder residue that might be left on the skin I'm just going to be heavily spraying that with a lot of fix plus and that way it's just going to fix the makeup into place and also adds a lot more dewiness to the skin so now moving on to the lips, I'm going to be taking the colour Strip Down by MAC and I'm just going to be lining my lips with this. And then I'm going to take a mixture of these two lipsticks. This one is the Gerard Cosmetics in the colour Buttercup and also the NYX Butter Gloss in the colour Tiramisu. Because Gigi's lips were really nice and nude but she did have quite a lot of gloss and pinkiness through it. So it's really going to match the eye colour combination. So again guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you're new. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.